Off you go. Still, it's definitely a lot nicer having 120,000 men at my beck and call. We should become... Yeah, we are now one of the most serious military powers. In fact, is our army... Yeah, our army's bigger than the Ottomans. Oh yeah, our military is stronger than the Ottomans. Booyah! Yeah, we're way too late to go to the New World. I don't really have any interest in doing it either. Like, all of my ships are galleys. We just want to have a strong base in the Mediterranean. That's good enough for me. New Grandmaster 541. New Air. Thank you. Um, right, well at least you're going to improve the admin power. Because, wow, we needed that. Right, policies means that we're losing some, of course. Okay, um, next person. We could really do with some more devotion. So let's go for the local preacher. 631, another one. Well, we're going to have lots of admin for the uh, near future at least. Now, come on, have I reached 100% professionalism? Finally, good. I mean, that probably happened a while ago. Morocco is really starting to piss me off. How are we doing on the old overextension? We're at zero. Well, alright then. Although... Hold up. Truce of the Ottomans is over. <laughs> um, I was going to go and punish Morocco, but we really do need to go after our ancient enemy. I mean, come on. It's, it's tradition at this point. And that's done in two months. Well, so long as that continues unabated, it's fine. I don't think that 60,000 men down here would be enough. So we're going to focus everyone up here again. And if they wish to trample roughshod across all of this, they are more than welcome to try. Are they? These forts are kind of rubbish. Theologian died, that's admin. Do we still have a cheap admin guy? I don't think we do. Inquisitor would do it, especially as we're about to take some more territory. That will give you 10 more influence, which will get you up to 76, which is dangerous, but it's not game-stopping. So that would be you. I don't actually know what it is that gives the uh, border. Yeah, it is. Professional army. I did wonder about that. We need a diplomat. Yeah, we do. Uh, the other thing we need is to know where the hell my navy is. Let's put you out here. Who are your allies? Malacca. You never did get your alliance with the Prussians back. Oh, Brandenburg. Do you want to Prussia? No. It's... Time! A 
annihilated their fleet. We only stole one ship. Well, it is a heavy. It's not the worst thing ever. Then we are going to detach blockade. <laughs> yeah, I think they know what's going to happen here. And detach blockade. A bit of money. They started to occupy some territories down here. I mean, we could easily fight them back. I can drop 60,000 men at them at once. They can't actually cross over here. I'm hoping my allies just take those territories. Well, let's just drop in Alexandria. And we may as well just start upgrading the forts here. Can't afford both. Cairo will do. Here comes their army. I mean, we are highly professionally high. We are highly professional and highly drilled. So, even though they may on paper have more troops than us, which actually they don't. Yeah, we should slaughter them. The thing that they have is manpower. Infinite freaking manpower. It's like, where are my uh, warships? Maybe here somewhere. Showed up for a fight then. Interesting. Cool. Come on, arrive. Three more days, and you're going to be too late. Oh, someone arrived. Oh, those guys arrived. You need to get here. Right, time to steal some Ottoman ships. Because actually the majority of their fleet transports. Oops. I mean, kudos to them for trying. They had to do something, I guess. Maybe, possibly. Uh, right. Detach blockade. And I know where I need to just leave, like, the bulk of my fleet. Just there. <laughs> they tried again! <laughs> Go away! Right, so we can gain army tradition. Or we'll gain prof <sighs> Don't need professionalism. It's fine. Alright, so we'll leave the bulk of the fleet over there. You would appear to be an army without a general. Mm, no, I'm not going to let you escape. So sorry. Unfortunately, all of these are flat. So I think I might just hang out down here until they wake up or the invasion of Anatolia does enough. I mean, the main reason I decided to hang out down here was so that Cairo's fort could actually get built. Ottoman Australia will join the war. Hmm. 
Okay, Mantua's doing their thing. France is on their way, but not really. Hmm. France is coming the long way via Africa. Okay, so the sides are a little bit uneven. On the Knights... No, actually, I'm going to start with the Ottomans. On the Ottoman side, we have got 92,000 infantry against the 449,000 infantry on the good guys. 18,000 cavalry versus 105,000 cavalry. 48,000 artillery versus a 269,000 artillery on the other side. 73 transports versus 333. 11 galleys versus... 112. 57 light ships versus 576 light ships. And then 28 heavies versus 192. I think that this is slightly one sided. <laughs> Am I sorry? Clerical dominance. Clergy estate increases influence. Can't afford that. I'll take the stability, especially because I can just go straight up again. That's definitely one of the nicest benefits of being the knight. You just switch your stability like instantly. I am so surprised you've not come for me down here. Maybe I need to go and take Sham. Yeah, Ferraran separatists. Someone else will have to deal with them. They could come and attack me with the 50,000 men, but they know that I have all of these guys here. Oh, you're trying to sally out. Not going to work, though. Four lights versus two galleys? Please. It's just three ships. And then guess what happens? So I, I just repair again. Just stay out here and repair. It's fine. It's not a problem. <clears throat> At this point, I really do feel like I'm just toying with the Ottomans. What terrain is this? The Highlands. I'd rather not fight in Highlands. Let's go to Halep. I can't be bothered to take those. We'll move up this way. Where is their army? There they are. Hell, that's fallen. What? You said you, you mean you had a castle there? I'm sorry, I didn't notice. It fell too quickly. Uh, we can build some stuff. What do we need? You know what? We need the thing in Florence as well. Imports compete with the Knights' quality goods. Our neighbours have established a large colonial presence in the New World. The exports from the distant land have been steadily increasing and some of the exotic goods have become very popular, even amongst those who should know better than be dazzled by curiosities. Recently, our neighbours have gone further, openly fueling this interest, encouraging people to buy American. They are pushing far more imports from the colonies, outcompeting our own goods and depriving good knights people of work. We might get something out of the influx of foreign trade, but the safest option would be to erect barriers to reduce it. So we can lose mercantilism and gain steering, or gain mercantilism and piss off the French. I'm going to 
try pissing the French off. How are <laughs> we're still plus two hundred? It's fine. Meanwhile, the Hungarians are meddling. Just going to take the next wave of stuff. Oh, next month. Boom! Mantua has been integrated, and finally, North Italy is looking decidedly more knightly. And the nobility got pissy. Not the clergy, apparently. That's interesting. I could also make several states. Hold up. How many can I have? Oh, I can have 32? Can I have 15? Alright. Uh, Delta is one. Sirencia. Piedmont definitely one. Macedonia definitely. Eastern Adriatic, not really enough stuff there. Palestine, same thing. Red Sea Hill, same thing. Bari, we do want. That's Lombardy not appearing in this list. Alright, seriously, Lombardy. I'll do for now. Because that's going to come with a bunch of places that we now need to call. Oh, we can't call places that have a Ottoman core. Fine. I can live with this. The Ottomans are hiding all the way back here now. Like, no, please, stop. Stop. You've done enough. No more. Mosul, dry lands. I mean, they're hiding in the mountains here. I, I, I get what they're doing. I'm not going to attack them in the mountains, though. I'll just bleed them out. Oh, I have to have taken that province. Well, their forts are just falling so quickly, it's ridiculous. And yes, I was kind of expecting one of my allies to kill the rebels over there. Who's that? Oh, that's Castile. Hi, Castile. Oh, they're moving. Probably trying to go around this way. Mosul just fell. Say bit this. Oh, one of their armies was stuck behind the lines. Interesting. They might try and go for Mosul. Go on. They are running out of places to run to. The net is closing. And you're only highlands. I could probably beat you in the highlands. More converting. Because I've totally not been falling behind with that. Uh, right. So, okay. Now the clergy are getting... Wow. Wow, those guys are greedy. They want 7% more. 7%! Only gained that. <sighs> Alright, they're actually almost there. Um... That's probably them happy. Yeah, so it's, now it's just the nobility. Alright, so it's not as bad as making out. It's still pretty bad, though. Oh, are there any more territories down here I can give away? Nope. Are there any more fishing provinces I can give away? Can't 
give those. I mean, there are these, but their development is really, really high. I'd, I'd kind of rather not. Especially as none of them have particularly high manpower. Increasing stuff. One thing I should do, which I can't believe I haven't done already, is give these to the bourgeoisie. And also Florence, which will increase the trade output. Especially when we're protecting trade there. That should improve my hold on Genoese trade quite substantially. Although actually Lombardy doesn't matter so much. That's actually in Venice. Oh well, can't cancel you now. Uh, Piedmont. Piedmont's already doing it. Oh, we're at 50%. Okay. We're, we're taking quite a lot of trade. Which is probably why my money's gone up so high. Am I going to colonize? No, there's no space. <sighs> Still need to find some land to give these fools. Actually, you know what? Manchu is not a terrible plan. It's got an important fort. And the nobility would mean that it has more defensiveness. Oh, come on. Right, now you really are just being greedy. Ethiopian. Can't give those away. Creed's already gone. Rhodes? Oh, right, Rhodes could go to the nobility. Actually, this would be a really good place for the nobles. There we go. Done. Job's done. So how much land do they actually control now? Twelve. That's fine. It's uh, the High Lord King Emperor. Got to get the uh, order correct. Alright, onwards. So let's go into Mush. Let's take Van. They're splitting up, which is a mistake. To Uzurum. Ah, they're fighting over there. These guys are staying put. Unfortunately, Trabazon is, yeah, mountains. I think the knights are saying they've had enough. Just hiding in the mountains, going, please, no more! No more! How's my overextension and stuff like that looking? It's gone! Free and clear. Kind of odd to me how the Middle Eastern countries still get the super Japanese sounding oriental music. I think it's just because it's just random mixes. Oh, the Ottomans tried to sally out and lost. Whoa, that's expensive. But then again, trade efficiency right now is kind of important. <laughs> it's just lost me my entire surplus. What's your supply limit? It is 43. I could not park more troops there even if I had wanted. What I can do, however, is park troops on Kanik and then hit them from both sides. So I'm going to attack them with 60,000 men. And root them out. All right, I have five units. You can stay here and mock them. Hundred and twenty thousand. Go.
Yeah, minus three. That's not good. Wow, that morale sucks. We are annihilating them. 123 discipline versus their 115. Oh. Yeah, my infantry have the plus 10 modifier. Theirs don't. We've also got huge land fire increases, shock damage, fire damage reduction, shock damage reduction from army drill. And also our artillery has the plus 20% and also all the drilling stuff. And I don't think this even takes into account the professionalism modifiers. I don't know where those are shown. But yeah, where is professionalism shown? What theirs is? Is there even a way of seeing from here? No, there isn't. That would be a ledger thing. Here it is, professionalism. Twenty-one percent versus my one hundred. Yeah, there's no wonder they're getting annihilated. Because I'm getting a further plus ten land damage, shock damage increase. I'm getting reduced morale damage taken by reserves. I need to find out exactly what counts as reserves. I think it's guys that have not got military drill. Which is why I win so much in terms of the morale. Alright, so we've taken that. So I'm going to leave... Where's my best siege leader? Carafa's a siege 2. You're a siege 2. We'll leave you behind. And we'll send you guys... Here. Here. Yeah. There are also 12 to my 86 tradition. Yeah, I have a lot of things going in my favour. Trabazon's been won already. My siege ability is definitely, like, yeah, my army is impressive, but I think it's actually my siege ability, which is the thing that blows me away the most. Like, even level 8 forts wouldn't hold for very long. Wait, is their army been defeated, or have they run away down here? Okay, so, uh, Malak is still in the fight, apparently, so I'm not going to be able to piece them out separately, I don't think. Meanwhile, the Ottomans really want peace. Like, please, give me peace. Uh, I'll take those three, because I'm just tired of seeing that. I'll take these. So we can tidy that up. And now, we can start to push across. There. Uh, oh no, we can go a little further. To there. That's only 74% war score. Oh, you're not going to give me a 100? The war goes on. Just surrender already. You're done. It's over. Oh, it's because they still have the ally in the fight. Yeah, and they've actually done a fair amount of damage over there. Okay, so next time, don't bring Castile in. We don't need them. Fact. Oh, that's where the other army came from. You guys. You were 30,000 stack, which is what confused me. That's the Mantuan army, which I inherited. Is that why I started losing money? Are we? Nope, we're not over the force limit either. I'm not sure that they just ran from the stack. I think they are just legit dead.
Alright, let's pull my forces back over to friendly territory. So we don't suffer silly attrition. And we're just going to wait until their war exhaustion goes up enough to persuade them to make peace. Because it will. <laughs> 